find the determinant, what you want to do is you want to interchange the A and the D. Okay, so you're going to put D here and A there. You're going to keep the B and the C in the same position, but you're going to make them the opposite sign. So I've written negative B and negative C. So that just represents the opposite of B and the opposite of C. A and D we switch. And then what you're going to do is you're going to divide all of these elements by the determinant, the determinant of the original matrix, okay, which is AD minus BC. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. So in this example here, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the determinant. So that's going to be 6 minus 4. So this diagonal multiply together minus this diagonal multiply together. So 6 minus 4 is 2. So I'm just going to write the determinant equals 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these elements on the diagonal. So I'm going to put 2 here, 3 here. I'm going to make the B and the C the opposite. So that's negative 4 and negative 1. We want to divide all the elements here by the determinant, which is 2. Okay, and you can see that this is going to be our inverse matrix. I'll simplify it a little bit further here for us. So it's 1, negative 2, negative 1 half, and 3 halves. Okay, and so this is our inverse matrix. Now one of the neat things about inverse matrices is that if you multiply a matrix by its inverse, that's what the A minus 1 represents, you're going to get this interesting matrix here, which has a 1 on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. That's called I, the identity matrix. And the interesting thing about the identity matrix is like the number 1. If you take the identity matrix times any other matrix of the same size, okay, you're going to get the same identical thing back. Just like when you multiply by number uh, 1. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 10 is 10. The identity matrix times another matrix will give you that original matrix back, okay, just like multiplying by 1. So let's just see if we can experiment with that a little bit. So let's take this matrix and its inverse. So that's going to be 3, uh, 1, 4, 2, Okay, and we're going to multiply by its inverse, which is 1, negative 2, negative 1 half, and 3 halves. Okay, so we know from previous video that we take the rows times the columns, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So first row, first column, that gives us 3 minus 2, which is 1. First row, second column, that gives us negative 6 times positive 6, or which is 0, okay? So we just multiply rows times columns, and then the second row, first column, we get 1 and negative 2 uh, halves, which is negative 1. So 1 plus negative 1 is 0. And then the second row, second column, we get negative 2. And um, let's see, what is this? Positive 3, which is 1. So you can see we get the identity matrix, which is itself. And just to show you with the identity matrix, let's just say we had 1, 0, 0, 1, our identity matrix, okay? And let's just say we multiply it by the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, just real basic. So first row, first column, that gives us 1 and 0, which is 1. First row, second column, that gives us 2 plus 0, which is 2. Second row, first column, that gives us 0 plus 3, which is 3. Second row, second column, 2 times 0 is 0. 1 times 4 is 4. We add those together, we get 4. And you can see we're getting the same identical matrix back, just like we're multiplying by by the number one, okay? Let's look at one more example. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you in the future videos, and uh, continue on with this series to learn more about matrices. Uh, you can see there's a link up, up above uh, to see those. But last example here, so we're gonna find the determinant, okay, of this matrix, and then we're gonna go on to find the inverse. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this diagonal, 10, minus this diagonal, negative eight. So 10 minus negative eight, gives us a determinant of 18. We're going to switch the elements on this diagonal. So I'm going to write this as 2 and 5. We're going to make the ones on this diagonal the opposite sign, so 4 and negative 2. And we're going to divide everything by the determinant of the original matrix, not the new matrix. Okay, and there is our inverse matrix. Now if you want, you can reduce these fractions further uh, to make it a little bit nicer and neater. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep on with the videos, uh, learning more about matrices, and I'll see you in the next video.